Lynn Kenyon, Everything Montana Real Estate. Follow us on the web, on YouTube, all over the place. We are just launching this to really walk you through many of the things you need to know when you're buying a house or land or anything, an investment property, a commercial property, uh, anything you need to know to, before you buy a piece of property. Mason Walker, guaranteed rate, has done this for 18 years. And what we've visited about a few things. On this video, we want to talk about the four major types of loan, VA, FHA, conventional, and, and jumbo too, right? Jumbo too, yeah. Yeah, so let's go ahead and start with the one that drives this town, a VA loan. I'd love to know, I mean, I'll down payment, rate, what you're looking for, what the house needs to look at, all those things. Let's start with VA. So VA loans are available to our veterans, basically, and surviving spouses, um, what but surviving spouses? Surviving spouses can have VA eligibility, yes. Great. Depending on manner of death, basically. If they're a surviving spouse of an active duty. Okay. Yep. Good to know. Yep. Great. Okay. Yep. And what are they what's that loan gonna look like? Well, basically the VA loan is one of the best loans on the market, if you ask me. It's a zero down payment, reduced interest rates, um, a small VA funding fee, depending on if it's your first time use, second time use. The VA does charge a funding fee that's usually built into the loan. They so waive that sometimes, though, for disability. Waive for that... any veterans that have any rating of disability. Could any be rating. As, as little as 10%, the VA funding fee would be waived. And that funding fee is how is that determined? Uh, depending on first use or second use, it's a percentage of the loan amount, One, like 1.75% 1. Uh, first time use, and then up to, I think, three, three and a quarter on the second time use. So you get a break the first time you use yeah. that funding fee. Yeah. The okay. first, the first, your first VA loan, you do get a discounted funding fee. But zero? Zero down. And a reduced rate. How and much of a reduced rate? Usually we're talking about three quarters of a percent from conforming loans. Great. Okay. Yeah. And what else, what else does a veteran buyer need to know? Um, property conditions are a little bit more important as far as things to watch for when you're making a VA offer on a property. You do want to watch for chipping and peeling paint and roof conditions and any kind of safety or general safety issues like stair railings, uh, deck railings, just any kind of safety issues, exposed wiring, you know, those, those are items that would have to be taken care of on the water. VA loan. Water damage You'd or require. standing water, uh, well tests on properties yeah, that, that's that what... have wells or cisterns. So you won't close it unless you know that the water is safe. Yes. So it's all about health and safety of the veteran Absolutely. in that loan. Yep. So. A flipper is probably not going to be go VA for the most part. Uh, it would depend, but it is definitely a lot harder to get a property that needs a lot of rehabilitation to pass VA standards. So they're being very generous on the zero down, but they want to make sure that the veteran's not buying something that could be uh, unhealthy. Correct. Okay. Yep. That's great. Uh, FHA? FHA is another government program that really helps a lot of first-time home buyers. Uh, it does require a minimum down payment of 3.5%. It does have an upfront funding fee that's rolled into the loan, and it does carry monthly mortgage insurance premiums. So that, that fee, that, so it's similar to the VA funding fee, how much is that? I believe it's 1.75% to upfront. Of the funding fee? Of the loan amount. Of the loan amount, yeah. okay. So 3.5% down, funding fee. Which is rolled into the loan. So they don't have to come so up with that financed. for cash. Yeah. So the three yeah. percent is really it. Yeah. What about the condition of the home on this? Uh, similar to VA, where it does require chipping and peeling paint, roof, and exposed wiring and safety issues. FHA and VA will carry very similar conditions on appraisal reports. So the mortgage insurance is because it's less than twenty percent down. Yes, and what mortgage insurance does is it protects the investor against foreclosures. Um, with you putting minimum down payments and having not much equity to start out in the home buying process, that mortgage insurance protects the lenders against foreclosures and will pay a certain percentage of that loan to the bank. So the banks aren't foreclosing on the full dollar amount. They get they're getting reimbursed 30% of that mortgage amount. So they're buying the house back at a discounted rate to be able to market it on the secondary market for discounted foreclosure rates. So I've seen a lot of buyers, they can't afford it because the mortgage insurance, they don't have 20% down and they have to pay mortgage insurance and that all comes into their debt to income ratio, which we talked about earlier. And the thing to understand for our buyer's perspective, this isn't insurance for you, even though you're paying this big amount every month. 
as Mason's saying, this is to protect the lender. So if you default, it's not insurance that gets paid to you back, even though you're paying that monthly premium, yes. it goes to the lender to protect their investment in their property since you have such a little amount down. Absolutely. So people are sometimes saying, oh, I'm just gonna default and I've been paying mortgage insurance. Well, you're not getting it, I'm sorry. No. So just the lesson here is just do the best you can and pay your bills. Absolutely. Okay, so then let's go on to conventional loans. What are we, you said everybody still thinks you gotta have 10 or 20% down. No, conventional actually just rolled out a new first time home buyer program that only requires 3% down. Um, so even less than FHA, uh, conventional is a little more forgiving on property condition as well. You know, they're not gonna scrutinize the chipping and peeling pain as much. You know, properties still have to be habitable, still have to be livable you know, and can't be in complete shambles, but conventional is a little more forgiving on property conditions than FHA and VA. And with the new first time home buyer program rolled out by conventional, I think we're gonna see a, a spike in the use of the conventional 3% down product now. Mortgage insurance? Required. Okay. Uh, one thing I should mention about mortgage insurance though, on FHA it is the life of the loan until you either refinance or, or sell the property. Conventional, it's up to 80% loan to value. So if you were able to buy that loan down in the future to get you to that 20% equity position, the, the mortgage insurance can come off of the loan without refinancing. Okay, so what he's saying is there is still an incentive to save up and, and put it towards that Absolutely. so you can get rid of the mortgage insurance, mm -hmm. but FHA doesn't matter? No. Okay. 203k loans? 203k is Just a rehab loan. Yeah, yeah, and we do have that program available. We have a whole team of renovation experts to help people with renovation loan products where basically if you're buying a subpar house and you want to do some home improvements or want to try to build that into the loan, there is a 203k renovation loan, there's a VA renovation loan and there's a home there's a conventional renovation loan product available. So is 203k only FHA? Okay. okay. So what that is doing is you buy a house that is not in great condition. So they have their standards, again, health and safety under V8, et cetera, and yeah. that sort of thing. But if you have this house you really want and you get, how does that work? Do I go get bids? So basically you have to get bids. Yeah, you have to get bids by licensed and insured contractors. It's not a program that allows you as an unlicensed or uninsured contractor go in and do the repairs yourself. It has to be done by licensed professionals. So they give you a bid, you give them more money than what they're borrowing. Yes, we hold that money in an escrow account and pay the contractors as the work is done. So, so the homeowner can't do the work and he can't take the money and go out on a binge some do nope. something fun. He's nope. got to actually prove to you. That we release the funds with lien waivers and inspections. So you actually go inspect the house yes. and make sure they're moving along. Yep. Huh. What about with all this, uh, you know, material costs and laborers costing so much are you seeing those bids exceeding what they we do take a usually a 10 percent contingency over and if that's not used it's done as a, it's given back to the loan as a principal reduction so the contractor goes in so you buy a house that needs work let's call it fha so it's a 203k loan it's a hundred thousand dollar house you need you a bid a contractor says it's ten thousand dollars to do XYZ, and that's what you think needs to be done. So you close on the house, you hire this contractor, and he has up to 10,000 plus 10%? Yeah. So $11,000 to do the work, and you're gonna check on it and make sure that's actually happening. Yes, we will, uh, we will check on the progress and have lien waivers signed before we release funds. Uh, the other thing, I, I, on the VA and the FHA, they have to be, uh, Primary residence? Yes. Can't be investment properties? Correct. Conventional? Conventional has can be investment properties, but will require a higher down payment. Okay, so if you're buying something to rent, like what? what's a more? 15% is the lowest amount you can do on a conventional product, but 25% is kind of the industry standard now with interest rates where they are. So 20, if you want to buy a rental by your neighbor, and rent us house, you're gonna to have to have a lot more down. I assume so to are, have 25% down. So do you have to actually show you that this is my primary residence? Do you have to sign an affidavit? You do something? sign an affidavit that says you intend on occupying this property as your primary residence for 12 months. Oh, 12 months? Yep. And then after that, then you're not bound to it? Nope. Okay, really helpful. Jumbo loans. So jumbo loan is um, any loan above 740 
2000, I believe. I'd that varies to, by state, right? Yes, it does vary by state, and it can even vary by county in, in bigger states. Um, so jumbo is any loan above the conforming loan limits for a conventional. Uh, we have a multitude of investors that are in the jumbo market, you know, with fish doctor loans, um, professional loans. You know, they do require a little bit, usually more on the down payment, about 10%. But they are offered at 10% with no mortgage insurance on the jumbo loans. Hmm. So. That's interesting. And does your rate go up, did you say? Rate is fairly comparable to conforming right now with the higher interest rates. The, the jumbo has stayed pretty attractive still in interest rates. Okay. One more, and I didn't start with it, but I know it's come up. When you buy a property more than 40 acres, what, what's that going to look like? Uh, we can do conforming loans. On uh, Fannie Mae is an investor, and Freddie Mac are, t are two investors. Um, Freddie Mac will take over 40 loans as long as we can have a comparable appraisal. VA, no. Nope, that's not true. Okay, that's, that's true. Myth. Oh, well, that's good. That's yep. what we're trying to myth yep. buster here. VA technically does not have an acreage limit. So you can buy a 50 acre property under as long VA as it, loan? As long as, we can, as long as there's comparable sales on the appraisal. Oh, that's huge. Most people don't realize that. No. Huh. So you and you can have multiple VA loans at the same time, too. We've helped, we've helped a lot of veterans in, in our community build a portfolio of real estate by using taking advantage of their VA loan. They can buy one VA loan as a primary residence, live in it for 12 months. After that 12 months is up, they can do, we can use what they call bonus entitlement to purchase another home and rent out their current VA home. So you can technically have two VA loans at the same time. Two, is that the max? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's, that's- But it allows a veteran to buy two homes with nothing down and collect rental income off of their departing residence. Well, they deserve it. Yeah, absolutely. You get shot at for us, yeah, for free. We've, uh, yeah, we've built definitely. a lot of real estate portfolios by taking advantage of the loan programs. I love it, that's yeah. awesome. Well, this is why we're doing this. Uh, you know, I, I sell a lot of real estate and you know, there's so many nuances, you know, in titles and yeah. lending, and that's all super helpful. And uh, you're willing to sit down with people personally in your office, absolutely. Or, yeah, uh, preferred, in the ring. yeah. Yeah, but we do have a, we have a industry leading online platform as well. So we have all avenues of application process we have covered. Hmm. Whether you like to be face to face, whether you like to start the process online, then meet up face to face. We can cover it all. We have a huge technology company behind us. So. Great. Well, this is really, really helpful. I appreciate your time a lot. And uh, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you. Have a great day, Mason. You too.